Welcome to August 10th, 2024, Oracle message for the day. My name is Yaila, back in my cozy, cozy bathrobe. <laughs> it's seriously just the best. Okay, um, I was guided to pull from one of my absolute favorite Oracle decks. Um, as soon as I saw, I've had this deck for almost my entire spiritual journey that I've been on up to this point the artwork and just the messages are so incredibly uplifting, loving, empowering, but also just real. And the artwork is artwork I would put up on my wall. So today's Oracle comes from the deck, Quan Yin Oracle. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, again, another one by Alana Fairchild. I do have other decks by other people, but Alana Fairchild, whoever she collaborates with, tends to be just really incredible decks. So the card that was pulled for today, number eight, <laughs> Dynasty of the Divine Mother. And just like I do with other Oracle cards, I like to first just get intuitive, read on what you're picking up from this card. So some things that stand out to me right away. If you notice the background, it's almost like she is in a stained glass window or some type of religious um, devotion type of artwork, right? Like just that just reminds me of being in that type of setting. But yet when you look at her, there's a realness to her. She doesn't just look like a piece of art. She actually looks like she is embodying a real life practice. So I just think this is an incredibly beautiful, beautiful card. And I'll read just a quick little insert from the guidebook. Of course, if you would like to see the entire guidebook message, and sometimes what comes in with these guidebooks is um, kind of a little action step you can do or a light prayer. I will let you read that on my Instagram. But this one speaks into um, Dynasty of the Divine Mother. The only wish of the divine Mo mother goddess is that all beings be spiritually free. The divine goddess calls us to realize our true nature, to fall in love with our own divinity. Enlightenment is a culmination of many small steps, each one as a drop of water forming a divine ocean of peace, realization, love, and unity within us. An ocean that washes away fear, separation, and scarcity and bathes us in abundance and bliss. You carry the torch of enlightenment within you. Let it shine each day. And then the first just couple sentences, sentences of the next paragraph, I think just really hit home. Sometimes we imagine enlightened beings to be another species to everyday humans. Yet there is an old Eastern saying that goes, before enlightenment, chop wood, carry water. After enlightenment, chop wood and carry water. <laughs> enlightenment is made manifest through the small actions we take each day. And I just love that message because we can get caught up in stories of needing to do more, not being enough. If I only did it more perfect, more better, more grand, then I would reach my actual heart's desires and goals. And the truth is, your real strength comes in those everyday small choices that you make to be aligned with your heart, to be aligned with your authenticity. And this is for really anybody. It doesn't matter if you feel connected to any type of divine mother energy or not. We have the masculine and feminine energies within us. And there is a time for action, for doing things, for being focused, which is the masculine energy. But then we also have the call to be more in surrender, to be more supported, receiving, flowing, intuitive, creative, which is more of the feminine energy. And the dynasty of the divine mother reminds me for today's message, just to be finding that flow within yourself, that beautiful dance between the action steps you're taking, letting it be focused and 
poignant for what your heart truly wants, but also be soft enough to receive the wisdom that comes from each and every now moment when you are um, have that space within your mind to resonate with what's going on around you. So it's really speaking into our everyday actions, every little small step. And I've noticed here in the Lionsgate portal, and it happens a lot when people, and I'm saying people like the collective, really expressing, you know, a lot of people are talking about Lionsgate 888 portal, which it is a powerful time right now that we are in. That is true. But what can happen is we ha are having our human experience as well. We have jobs, we have families, we have responsibilities. There's a lot of things in our everyday life that we are just navigating through that we've already committed to that we have to focus on. And we can get a little bit down on ourselves that maybe we weren't tapping into the energy enough or we weren't doing enough to really reap the benefits. But that is actually false. The truth is, how do you find your own divinity in those everyday simple life tasks of chopping wood, carrying water, showing up and doing those little things that add up to complete your whole day? The everyday little actions, there is a level of enlightenment and insight if you take the time to tap into that. So the message that I am kind of sharing today that I was guided to share today is as you're going throughout your day today, for me, I'm in the United States, so it's a Saturday. There's a lot of to-dos on the list today, but my focus is each segment of time going from one new activity to the next. Just, I always like to, if when I think about it, <laughs> when I remember, just to give gratitude, give gratitude to my higher self, to my heart, to know and trust that I'm making the highest and best authentic decision between each little moment in time. And when you can come from that place of doing the best you can in the present moment with whatever that moment is bringing you, you are living an enlightened, embodied life. So that is the message for today. I will see you tomorrow for the next Oracle message, but I hope you enjoy your day and you find some beauty, some insight in those chop wood carry moments of your everyday life today. I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye.